Hmm. Welcome to Good Mythical More. Superpower. Oh yeah. We're a new uh, super duo. <laughs> Which mm -hmm. two is it? <laughs> you might ask. The Overlord and Charlemagne. Oh, the Overlord. That would be you, sir. What is your power again? Uh, I'm just I'm just taller than people, <laughs> and so I'm just kind of over. Yeah. And you know what? I'm, I'm kind of over it. I'm kind of over it yeah. as well. And I'm Charlemagne because, um, well, my real name's Charles, and I'm I'm compensating for it. And you, sir. I haven't heard of you. What's your superhero name? I'm the, the. Wow. The 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 the. the, the. When the. what what on earth does the the do? The the can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> the the man, I like that. The the. Have you heard of the the? He can do anything. And what happens when people mispronounce it as the V? The. Then they'll be punished. <laughs> oh, he gets very angry. Oh. The the gets very angry when you call him the the. What about or the the? I think the the is acceptable though. Is the the, the, the acceptable? Yeah. Oh, okay. Outside the U.S. It's got to be the. the. Oh. Outside. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You make exceptional. You make exceptions for international customers. <laughs> Guys, I have so many fun Chipotle facts. Some are false. Here. No, you don't. Some are some we've just completely made up. Some are real. All are fun. Now the reason we're doing this is again. Uh, sorry, no offense, David Hill. David Dobrik was supposed to be here, and uh, David Dobrik, uh, he had a burrito named after him at Chipotle because he was such a frequent customer. I think he gets unlimited Chipotle, right? Yeah, he does. He was he was given he was given that he was gifted that the David Dobrik burrito. For those of you who are <clears throat> interested, is brown rice. Black beans, chicken, mild salsa, two scoops of corn salsa, a sprinkle of cheese, and a side of guac for dipping. Now, um, is it not any, not, not, not rowing anybody's boat here or ruffling any feathers, <laughs> except that. Um, what is rowing? I mean, if you row somebody's boat, it sounds like you're getting them excited. Yeah, that it's really not, rows my that's boat. not exciting. Unless you're going downstream. Right, yeah, yeah, then you're just. Yeah. Into a river, like. Yeah, yeah. watch out now. Right, yeah. But the dipping part, that's the interesting thing I've never thought of. I respect this choice because I believe that the, the properties of guacamole are compromised when mixed with other substances. Well, the winner gets this, but I actually, once you bite it, once you bite a burrito, actually dipping with the burrito seems like a lot of stuff would start to fall out. That's why you gotta have a spoon for application. So it's not really dipping, it's spread. I mean, yeah. All right, we'll we'll take that up with David Dobrik. When he, when he comes on our show. Fine. David Hill, what do you get on your burritos at Chipotle? So I get, it depends, like I do white or brown rice. It depends on how I'm feeling. Oh, okay. I also get the black beans, okay. mild salsa, the corn salsa, okay. cheese, Yeah. a little bit of lettuce. No meat? Oh, I forgot about the meat. Yeah, you we'll get forget. To that point. What is the meat? Uh, sometimes I do chicken. Sometimes I do steak. Okay, so you don't sometimes have a go, you don't have a very specific go go to order. You know what? I don't either. I mix it up. Do you have a go-to Chipotle order? Uh, Apparently not. It's basically oh, David what's my Dobrik's, order? You ask. Except for one of corn salsa. I, I have a controversial order because I like a vegetarian burrito. With I don't the know. sofritas? No, oh. like you don't get I the just sofritas? like no meat at all. I don't know. It's just like the takes really away good. from the other tastes. Give us the first fact. You gotta have a That protein. was fact one. That was a lie. <laughs> no, here That's we go. That's true. <clears throat> Chipotle receives some of its avocados from singer-songwriter Jason Mraz. Mraz sounds like a, 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 the kind of guy that would have an avocado farmer. A, 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 avocado, whatever. <laughs> yes, Mraz has avocados. Oh, See, yeah. David, are you just are you just agreeing? Are you going to agree with that? No, I think Jason Mraz has a... He seems, he's the type artist like, yeah, I have an avocado farm. I got a guitar. Okay. Yeah, come no, to a I'm, sound bath with me. Yeah. yeah. It, I just, it just seems like you're just saying what Red just said. No, just, I mean, listen, I, you know, he's just, I mean. Oh, no, no, I think he, yeah, Jason okay, Mraz, right. yeah. You're your own person. Okay, you're all going to pull yay? Yeah. No, I'm gonna have to change my answer after lecturing David. Okay, well, <laughs> it's real. <laughs> 
Jason right. Mraz operates an avocado farm yeah. that produces 30,000 pounds of avocado every year, many of which go to a local Chipotle. Oh. Mm. In 2015, him. Chipotle customers in Milford, Pennsylvania, were in for a surprise when a black bear entered the restaurant, scared employees, and left. What state? Milford, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Black bear, Pennsylvania? That's a possibility. What part of the state is that in? Uh, that's, I do not have that written down, David Hill. I only have... What is scripted? <laughs> uh, black bear in at Chipotle. Milford is kind of right in the... I don't think so. If it's near Philly, I don't think so. I think it's a lie. If it's uh, like the, it's in the northern part of the state... It's in the northeastern corner it, It's in a place that it could happen, but I don't believe that it did happen. I'm going to say yay, it did happen. There's been a lot of random stuff. I'm going yay. This is... Fake. Ah. Okay. What's the real story? It wasn't in Milford. It was no. I don't know. On Halloween, burritos at Chipotle are officially referred to as burritos. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. That's uh, a yay. That's a yay. I dress up all the time. Every year. Every year. Oh, okay. okay. Well, you I gotta go with David on this one. But... All the tin foil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you dress up as a burrito. Oh, yeah. Okay. Burritos are. Real. Yeah. Chipotle yeah. even owns the URL burrito.com. And if you wear a costume to a Chipotle on Halloween, they'll give you a special discount. Oh, and yeah. So that's it. Oh, yes. And it, but it doesn't have to be a burrito. You could dress up as anything. You could dress up as anything. I'm dressed up as. Uh, the, the. Yeah, the, the. Yeah. <laughs> I actually dressed up as a superhero. Yeah. yeah. You did? Yeah. Yep. And what's the discount? Years ago. Um, you get about. It, they change it almost every year, but back when it was about 25%. 25% off. Quarter off. Like the earlier days, like early, the early 10s. I'm okay. reminiscing uh, about You know yeah, this very well. I'm before the horrible case you to answer. Yeah, yeah. Every Chipotle in the world streams the exact same playlist, which is created by a DJ in Brooklyn. Ooh. Everyone in the world? That, in the that whole would just be, world. That would just be bad practice if it, if it is true. Mm -hmm. DJ in Brooklyn sounds like a, a hipster made that up. Uh, I, for some reason, I think that this that might works. be true, that. but it shouldn't be true. Ooh. It shouldn't be true. Here's it's, Willie Nelson in the in one of their commercials, like Willie mm. Nelson, so, uh, Willie Nelson. Right, and you can't play Willie Nelson in Italy. <laughs> their playlist is really good, though. Most of the time, most of the time, it's a lot of alternative, electronic, kind of indie. You think artists. they're pumping that from Brooklyn to the whole world? Yeah, because most chain okay. stores so you have that yay. little. Yeah, I'm definitely saying All right, yay. I'm going with David. I believe he, his reasoning is sound. This is real. Uh, really? Every Chipotle exclusively streams the same playlist, which changes every month and is curated by DJ Christopher Go Golub. AKA Brooklyn, David Hill, I guess. And there are Chipotles in Germany, France, the UK, and Canada. Hey. Oh, that's DJ the only, in Brooklyn. That's the only countries that they're in? That's right. I would have thought they'd expand it even more. But that whole. Right. That whole uh, e. coli thing, I guess, really threw him. Yeah. Oh, it's my, sorry, I, I forgot I've had the facts. Right. Now, if you want to beat Rhett, you got to withhold your reasoning. I'm just saying, because he's now going to copy you every time. Let's keep going. On National Cat Day, uh -huh. if you tweet a photo of your cat dressed as a burrito to the official Chipotle Twitter account, you will receive a coupon for a free side of guacamole. I believe this is too difficult to administer, and I believe that they may get calls of animal cruelty. So I'm going to say nay. I think it's yay. Do you know? I believe this is something Chipotle would do. Yeah. yeah. I want to change my answer because I believe in David Hill, but I'm not going to. This is fake. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got it. Uh. All right, David. You, you should start doing that. It'll be fine. <laughs> Steve Carell once signed a tortilla for a Chipotle employee. Of course, yes. Hmm. How would we you don't know even that? need to think about this one? Just like a Twitter post, Twitter picture. I think this has got a good payoff. It's like a picture of a burrito yeah. that Steve Carell signed. Hopefully, we'll see it. So I'm saying, yeah. Did I he sign see it with it. black beans or with ink? Hmm. What are we going with? Going with yay. Yeah, it's real and it has a payoff. Here's the photo. Oh, 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 oh I thought it was signed, be like, it's a small tortilla. He signed. Or else, a very big hand. I think it's a heart. Is it? That's the taco shell. Yeah, taco. That's a good. Yeah. That's a good uh, autograph. It's very good. That big S. It's like an eight. Yeah. Wow. All right. Yeah. Here's your final chance. Let's see where we stand. 
Well, we've got to make this one if to give David I a chance. I haven't missed one yet, Stevie. Okay. Well, I really fine, want that burrito. No last But you know what? One. We'll make you it worth win. as many points as you want. <laughs> okay. What did you say? You want to make it interesting? I was Make it saying. worth four points. Anybody's game. Except, Except for Link. Link. <laughs> this, is, this is for the queen sweet no, Link, for Red. Link and Ty. Okay. Chipotle Catering offers a guactopus, which is an arrangement of 32 sliced avocados artistically, well, I mean, displayed in the shape of an octopus. Well, I mean. <laughs> I feel like the training for that would be impractical. Yeah, that's tough. I'm on the fence. I feel like I would have seen this on the internet if it existed. David, the only way you can win is if you disagree with Red and you're right. It's true. You might as well. Gotta go with yay. It's fake. Uh, <laughs> Rhett, you, you got every single one I right. I know my Chipotle, you, you man. You earned it, man. David Dobrik, eat your burrito out. Attention Mythical Society members, lose a pen, need an extra badge? You can now re-up or replace select items through a special password-protected page on mythical.com.